Welcome, everyone. So we're going to talk, as Jennifer said, about effective report writing. One of the things that we have to understand is that monitoring visit reports are compliance tools. We use these to get a sense of what is happening at the site level, looking through the eyes of that monitor. And how they are written, how they provide information, is critical for an understanding of what's happening at that site level. So we're going to talk about development of them as tools, of those reports as tools, but also how the monitor uses them to convey information regarding what they're finding when they go to the site. So we'll look at the impact of poor report writing, apply the definitions and concepts of scientific report writing, implement the rules of a quality report, as well as activities for that CRA. We'll talk about writing action items, deviations, queries, integrate essential document mapping within a monitoring report, and describe the challenges of monitoring report writing and monitoring report review. So it's critical that we get that report written, but of course it is critical that it is reviewed as well. And we'll talk about that, how sometimes those things tend to fall through the cracks, and then the utility of that report is lost. So what happens if our reports are not well written? We have to ultimately, with any report that we write, I'm an auditor, and we look at this in terms of who is our audience, who is our reader. So there are multiple audiences, some directly intended, others not so much. So your clients. This can be, if you're working for a CRO, this can be your sponsors. Other CRAs, have you ever had to pick up some other CRAs site? Transition into a site? Managers, for, so these are for critiques. So IRBs, QA, so us, and regulatory. Right? Regulatory is reading your reports as well. So FDA can come in, review those reports. They want to see how they're structured, how they relate to the protocol how they relate to the engagement, and whether they have been completed appropriately. And we're going to talk about some examples of monitoring visit reports that were not written clearly and led to, um, you know, led to the reviewers believing that things were okay unless you looked very closely at the information that was being provided. So we're going to talk about, we just mentioned that the regulatory authorities can review those reports. We're going to talk about the Bioresearch Monitoring Program. So the Bioresearch Monitoring Program is FDA's review from a clinical standpoint and inspection process for how they conduct inspections of sponsors, CROs, monitors, clinical investigators, sponsor investigators, and IRBs for our purposes. We will be focusing on 7348.810, the FDA's Bioresearch Monitoring Program Compliance Program Guidance Manual for Sponsors, CROs, and Monitors. How many of you are familiar with that? Give me a green check if so, or red X if not, please. You say it's the, it's the answers to the test questions, the FDA's SOP on how they're going to do that inspection. And it has a large section on you know, how the sponsor selects a monitor as well as monitoring procedures and activities. So established in 1977, the purpose of the Bioresearch Monitoring Program is to oversee the conduct of studies to ensure that we have protected the right safety and welfare of participants, as well as ensuring the integrity of safety and efficacy data. What has the FDA found when they go out? They have found that monitoring continues to be a top issue for sponsors and CROs. Recently, the FDA has changed their findings to indicate not just failure to ensure proper monitoring, but failure to select qualified monitors. What the FDA has found is that monitoring is a significant issue. And we, and we talked about this 
just a moment ago, how monitoring is the window into what's happening at the site level. So the FDA says, drug safety inspections, drug safety inspections says inadequately monitored clinical investigations have become a problem. When a sponsor states that it is monitoring sites, it must monitor those sites. And we are starting to closely check that monitoring. And we have seen that, as we said, over and over and over again, looking at monitoring as being a significant issue.